In this course, you'll be working on projects. For example, below are some projects you can choose from, from this unit. Before you get started on projects, let me quickly explain how they work in this course. Throughout this course, you'll find a variety of projects. Some are hands-on projects, some use simulations, some use video analysis, some are more artistic, some are focused on critical thinking, some are inquiry-based, etc. The common thread among all these projects is that they all grant you the opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of the course material. The project portion of your course grade is based on you accumulating 100 credits. If you accumulate 80 credits, you'll get 80% in the project section. If you accumulate 50 credits, you'll get 50% in the project section. So for 100% in the project section, you need 100 credits. You get the drift. You can note the number of credits each project is worth in the table below. This is based on the expected difficulty of the project. An easier project might be worth 10 credits, while a more challenging project might be worth 20 credits. Therefore, you can choose to try two easier projects or accomplish the same credits by taking on a more challenging project. Two different approaches to the same outcome. You should do one project from each unit prior to doing the unit exam. Then you can fill in the remaining credits with projects from areas of interest or difficulty while you're studying for your midterm or your final. You have lots of choices for projects, but if you have your own idea for a project, that's great. Just run it by your teacher. Be creative and inquisitive as you complete your projects.